Hello students. In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the crystallite size from XID data by using the origin software. Here is the Scherer equation that is used to calculate the crystallite size from uh, XID data. This equation equals D equals K lambda over beta cos of theta, where D represents the average crystallite size. And K is dimension less constant, depending on the crystallite shape. It has a value of uh, 0.94 for uh, homogeneous sample and 0.89 for heterogeneous sample. And lambda is 0.154 nanometer in case of copper K alpha X-rays. And beta represents the full width of maximum. Uh, and that uh, we measure in radian. And theta is the position angle of peaks. In the last video, I have shown how to calculate the full width of maximum for uh, XRD peaks in by using the origin software. Okay, so now I want to show you how to calculate the, the crystallite size by using the XRD data. Suppose we have here XRD data, and here you can see only two peaks. One is this, and the second one is this. Uh, let's start. Go to the option of analysis, where you have to select the peak and baseline option, where further you will click on the multiple peak bit, and further you will open the, uh, you will click on the open dialog once you do that this window will open where uh, for the peak function you will simply select the gaussian once you select the gaussian option click on okay okay so by doing this you can see this window will open this window means now you will double click on each peak and this is how you will select each peak so let me double click on this and also double click on this small peak okay so once you do that i hope i selected this click on uh, open nl fit and uh, this window will open here you can see here we have a lot of parameters uh, which were needed for calculating the full width of maximum and uh, some other parameters. Okay, so once you have all of these parameters, now you need to perform the calculation. So for that, click on this option. And uh, when you do it, when you click on this option, yeah, you can see here you have a COD or scare value equals 0 0.99 and this value should be near to one so it means our calculations are on uh, uh, our, our, our calculations are good okay after this click on done so just simply click on okay and uh, you can see here the calculation uh, report sheet having all of the calculated values, different calculated values. And uh, if you look at uh, here, here are, okay, so now here is uh, a summary on peaks where you can see XC representing the position of the peaks the first peak is at 26.6 degree and the second one is at 54.7. And here corresponding full width of maximum values are 0.16 and 0.33 respectively. Now I'll copy these two values and uh, also these two values and put in the Excel sheet where I'll do some other calculations to find the average crystallite size. Okay, so I'll save these two values and then I'll copy these two values and put in the Excel sheet. So let me show you the Excel sheet, which I have already prepared. 
and this one is the Excel sheet where the first column showing the peak positions, the second one showing the full width of maximum, and the third column showing the crystallite size D. Where uh, this here I have used the formula that is exactly the formula which I have shown you on the first slide, where I have where I have mentioned how to calculate the crystallite size. Okay, so I have already written this formula here. So now by putting uh, the peak positions and full width of maximum values in this formula, the crystallite size D equals 50.69035. And uh, similarly for the other two values, we get 26.71. But you know, these two crystallite size values are uh, corresponding to each peak, but uh, we actually need to find the average size. So for uh, finding the average size, I'll just take the average of these two values. And for that, I'll use the formula, average equals average into C2, C3. You see the first value is at uh, C2 and the second value is in at the position C3. So just uh, putting, by using this formula, we can find out the average size D, and that is 38.700. 38 Thank you so much for watching.